We're going to ensure that we have the best in the nation's cybersecurity teams to monitor the places where radicalization occurs. We're watching you now. We know what you're up to and we'll be coming after you. Strong words from Governor Kathy Hochul as we learn more about the Buffalo Shooters attack plans. Good evening, I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski, the 18-year-old posting plans on the messaging platform Discord months before the mass shooting at the top supermarket on Buffalo's east side Saturday. In those plans, back in December of last year, he references targeting Syracuse. News Channel 9's Madison Moore joining us live tonight. Madison, what did the shooter say in those messages? Well, Christy and Jeff, the shooter mentioned Syracuse Mall. That's what he called it in that online group messaging back in December of 2021. Presumably, he's talking about right here at Destiny USA, the only mall in Syracuse. He said the black population in Binghamton, which is the closest city to his hometown, wasn't high enough, and instead he was looking to southern Syracuse. Now, that was on December 8th that he posted that about the Syracuse Mall. He also mentioned the Oakdale Mall. Now, that that's in Johnson City, just about 10 minutes away from Binghamton. Over a week later, the shooter mentions other cities in the chat group, Northern Rochester, Mount Vernon, and Hempstead. By the end of December, it appears he set his sights on the Marketplace Mall in Rochester. Now, it wasn't until February of this year that the shooter decided on the top supermarket in Buffalo, stating that the area had a 10% higher black population than Rochester. Now, the nearly 600 pages of online messages details his plans step by step, including pictures of himself and the weapons that he would eventually use to unleash his attack on the innocent lives of so many in Buffalo. Live in Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Madison, thank you. We're also learning the shooter invited a small group of people to join his private group on Discord to review his plan. It's not clear who saw the post, but no one alerted authorities. The teen also posting about taking part in animal abuse, claiming his mother gave him a box to bury a cat he killed. Peyton Gendron has pled not guilty to a single count of first degree murder, but Attorney General Merrick Garland says the Justice Department is also considering charging him with hate crimes and domestic extremism. He's scheduled back in Buffalo City Court for a felony hearing tomorrow at 930.